I think the enduring appeal of the Jet Age aesthetic is that it taught us to live somewhere between the material and the immaterial worlds. I've written a new book called Jet Age Aesthetic, The Glamour of Media in Motion, which asks the question, how and why did the jet proclaim the dawn of a new moment in time? And then how and why did that moment have a style or an aesthetic? It's about the value and experience of fluid motion, the sense of going nowhere fast, of clipping the clouds, of being in you know, a tube, hurtling through the atmosphere at 500 miles an hour, but not having a sense that you are doing that. And that this idea, it's almost like being a fish in water and not knowing that you are swimming in an aquarium. The head of the FAA comes to open LAX. He says, I hope that this airport is as successful and spectacular as something like Disneyland. Walt Disney's role in popularizing the Jet Age aesthetic is central. Disneyland was born in 1955, and the shape it takes is so in sync with the Jet Age. The Jet Age aesthetic is represented in songs like Come Fly With Me, I'm Leaving on a Jet Plane. Come fly with me. But other examples like in color photography of the period, and especially in the work of this photographer, Ernst Haas, who made blurry color pictures precisely so people would experience the motion, the fluid motion of the Jet Age. I was very interested in the way magazines circulate and that magazines also identified the jet set and kind of created this idea that there was a new class of people called the jet set and they are like so many pictures in a magazine. They come and they go, they're always arriving and departing. It doesn't really matter who they are because they'll be replaced in the next issue with another group of beautiful people in a beautiful setting. Jump seat is open. It's been a while since I've done this. Which one's the jump seat again? Catch Me If You Can, the movie, and Mad Men, the television series seemed to, you know, kind of construct a certain kind of nostalgia for this period. And I was asking myself, well, is this a kind of retrograde fantasy of a time when it used to be better? And so that got me started on looking at the period. And what I learned was not that the period had ended and not that these were nostalgic looks back, but rather that we were still living in some measure in the jet age, but differently. And that's when I realized it had given birth to our own internet age, and that it had given birth to the networked society. <laughs>